And welcome back to the anime and manga news for the week ending March 8th, 2014. Starting with some movie news, quite a bit of movie news actually. There's a trailer for the next Doraemon film that dropped this week. It's the first uh, CGI film within the Doraemon franchise, that being a very popular kids franchise. And the narrator calls it the first and final Doraemon story. And in the trailer itself, Doraemon tells Nobita, the main character, I can't stay here anymore. What does this mean for Doraemon? We shall have to find out. Kind of surprising. Meanwhile, some news about The Wind Rises and Hayao Miyazaki. The Wind Rises won the animation category in the 37th uh, Japanese or uh, Japan Academy Prizes, basically the Japanese Academy Awards. Um, this is, I believe, only the seventh year when the Animation of the Year category existed. So it's only been around for seven years. Uh, the Wolf Children won it last year. Um, so that's nice. He was competing against The Tale of Princess Kaguya, as well as Captain Harlock, uh, Monoko Magica, the movie th uh, Part 3, and Lupin III vs. Detective Conan. Um, uh, the soundtrack by Joe Hisaishi also won Best Soundtrack. Uh, he was actually... Uh, no uh, uh, Hisaishi was nominated for actually uh, three different films. Uh, Taylor Princess Kaguya, Wind Rises, and Tokyo Family. Uh, let's see here. Um, I believe we also had... Um, also in, in Wind Rises news, there was a uh, talk with uh, Toshio Suzuki where uh, he, he told an American audience uh, that uh, Hayao Miyazaki actually wanted to make Ponyo Part 2 instead of The Wind Rises. He wanted to, to do more in, in the Ponyo world. Uh, Suzuki was explaining the role of producer. What, what does a producer do? And uh, Suzuki um, wanted Miyazaki to adapt his own manga, The Wind Rises, uh, instead of doing a sequel to, to Ponyo. Um, John C. Riley, who was doing the, the presenter, um, uh, apparently noted that uh, Suzuki did the exact opposite of what an American producer would do. You know, do something original instead of a, a sequel. Sounds, uh, doesn't sound very, very Hollywood. Thank goodness. Meanwhile, uh, a trailer has dropped for the upcoming Saint Seiya CG film. A 101 second trailer uh, has dropped. This will adapt the Sanctuary arc from Saint Seiya. So head on over to Anime News Network for the trailer on that one. Also a new trailer for the upcoming Akame Ga Kill um, uh, anime series adapting a manga. It's a dark action fantasy story about a, a girl assassin. So it should be interesting to see where that goes. That is from uh, uh, Gangan Joker magazine. Uh, also, we have some more information about the upcoming uh, Majin Bone anime series. This is from Band Bandai and Toei. Uh, it's about the creator of the universe who's been resurrected in the present day. Um, and uh, looks like it has some kind of uh, card game element into it. Um, the, the main character transforms into the Bone Fighter Dragon Bone, I'm not making that up, with the Bone Card, a lot of bones, to save the Earth. So we'll see where that goes. Meanwhile, uh, over in Russia, and no, I'm not going to talk about the Ukraine, a, um, uh, uh, a man has been sentenced to three years in jail for disseminating Japanese animated child pornography. This is the first time a defendant in Russia has received jail for this crime. It's kind of interesting in and of itself. Um, and I'll explain more about this in the backstory, um, and particularly about uh, uh, child pornography laws around the world and how they have to do with um, uh, anime and manga and how that's depicted, depicted in that and so forth and so on. So stay tuned to the backstory for more information on that. Moving on to some manga news, um, a, a new manga, or a, uh, a new award for an existing manga, the creator of Tekon King Crete also did a manga called Sunny Manga, that's actually the term, Sunny Manga is the name of it, and it received the Best Graphic Novel Prize at uh, Slate Book Review and Vermont Center for Cartoon Studies uh, Cartoonist Studio Prize. Um, and uh, let's see here, this is from a shortlist of 10 nominees. Um, and uh, Matsumoto will receive uh, $1,000 as a result of this. It's a slice of life story about or uh, kids at an orphanage who have this car called Sunny, which uh, takes them on adventures, basically. So, interesting. Sounds like a, a manga worth checking out. Crunchyroll has announced they will be releasing four new one-shot fairy tale manga 
on the Crunchyroll manga service. Um, they'll be available all access uh, for all access um, viewers and manga members worldwide, except in Japan, South Korea, Lebanon, Belgium, France, Germany, Luxembourg, Poland, Switzerland, and Morocco. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see here. Uh, they start the uh, wa- excuse me the uh, one shot. See, oh, there, there are a variety of them going in there. And with, did. if you like fairy tale, go check it out on Crunchyroll. Kojiro also added uh, three Moyoko Ano manga, as well as Investor Z from uh, Norifusa Mita. So you want to check those out. Um, let's see here. Uh, Memoirs of Amorous Gentlemen, Buffalo Five Girls, and The Diary of Uchibi-san are uh, now available on Crunchyroll. Meanwhile, um, there's going to be a new spinoff of GTO in manga format, done by manga creator Toro Fujisawa. So, yeah, he's already done a spin-off involving, let's see here, um, who was it? Um, the, um, you know, Eno Head Gargoyle was a, a spin-off of GTO. Um, it's not clear whether this is a, a spin-off of, of that, or a spin-off of GTO, original story, or where that's going within the GTO universe. Just that it's going to be a GTO spin-off. We'll, we'll find out. Um... Yen Press has announced they're going to be uh, printing three different Haruhi Suzumiya anthologies in one volume, 528 pages of Haruhi Suzumiya in one omnibus. This will combine Suzumiya Haruhi no Kyoen, Suzumiya Haruhi no Shukosai, and Suzumiya Haruhi no Kenran. Uh, that's three of the four anthologies that have been released in Japan. Head over to ANN for the cover images for... Uh, all three of those, one featuring um, uh, Haruhi in a bathing suit. Sweet. Let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. Meanwhile, a few other little bits and pieces. Uh, Viz has announced they licensed Assassination Classroom in the Resident Evil manga. Uh, Assassination Classroom is a uh, action comedy series about uh, uh, a class full of students who have to kill their teacher that also happens to be this like planet-consuming monster. As you do. And then, of course, Resident Evil manga. Um, the first volume of that will ship in November. This has also licensed um, uh, Master Keaton by Naoki Urasawa, uh, who also did Monster and uh, Pluto and a bunch of other interesting stuff. Uh, the anime of that was released by, I believe, Right Stuff a while back. So that's pretty cool. He also did 20th Century Boys, one of the uh, more successful ones uh, uh, out there. So... I apologize, Genion did Master Keaton. That was my mistake. Uh, Master Keaton sort of a, uh, sort of a more realistic James Bond character. So uh, take sort of more early Bond, where it's not quite as absurd as the more recent series. Um, and you have a character who is uh, jack-of-all-trades, kind of a, a spy agent person. Very interesting. A uh, new Gundam manga on its way. It'll be called uh, Gundam After Jaburo. Referring, of course, to uh, presumably the events, uh, the, the events at Jaburo Base in uh, original Gundam's One Year War. Um, it'll be the story of betrayal and the rebirth that disappeared. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds cool. Uh, first chapter will be 46 pages, uh, premiering in Shonen Sunday in May. In Japan only, sorry. Uh, a few other bits and pieces. Um, I, there's a, no, a new Evangelion spinoff manga. Coming in April, um, Young Ace Magazine announced uh, writer Yushi Kawata will be writing it, and uh, Yukito will be drawing it. Yukito also drew the Don Juan uh, manga. The tagline is, uh, The stage is Eva and game department. Look out for this unique combination. Not quite sure what that means. Um, the writer also wrote uh, Mogitate Idol Ningen, which I have not checked out before, but at least written something else. That's not a bad thing. Um, so, of course, more Evangelion. Everyone will, will, will get uh, all excited about that. The style does look a little bit different. Um, finally, Katakawa has announced the, uh, an upcoming walk, uh, app called Comic Walker, which will um, uh, provide manga uh, uh, around the internet. Uh, launch on March 22nd. Manga will be available in Japanese and English, as well as traditional J- uh, Chinese. Uh, you'll be able to read it on smartphones and PCs. Uh, 200 different works will be available for free. Presumably other uh, stuff will be available for pay. 
Um, more titles will be added as it goes on. They're also working to, to translate uh, various aspects of the app into various languages. I think initially the interface will be Japanese only, but they'll eventually add English, uh, you know, uh, menus and such. But you'll be able to to read the stuff. Um, it'll feature 150 past and present works, um, including Anon Non Biori, Nobunaga the Fool, Sergeant Frog, Tonari no Seki Kun, um, plus 50 original titles. That'll be that'll be interesting. Um, and the original titles will eventually be published in book form. They they plan. So this won't be a purely digital initiative, which is kind of shuffled off into a corner. Um, this is part of their their overall manga strategy. Um, they'll also include the Neon Genesis Evangelion manga by Satomoto and uh, Yasuhiko's Gundam The Origin manga. Uh, and they'll both be available in color, which is, which is pretty cool. Another neat feature here is that um, users will be able to create their, their own magazines. So you'll be able to take a bunch of different titles and combine them into a magazine that you can read, just like Shonen Jump or any of the other magazines. Uh, and then you can you know, restructure that around. But you can kind of build your little kind of RSS feed in manga magazine format, which I think is a, a neat way of, of approaching it. And uh, the app will also suggest series based on what you've read. Uh, pretty, pretty normal stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, again, that will launch on March 22nd. Uh, no other news about um, availability or, you know, um, and it says smartphones. Presumably that means iOS and Android. We'll find out. So that's the news for this week. Stay tuned for the backstory. As always, thanks to an, uh, AnimeNewsNetwork.com and Secret Agent Vincent for all the news. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next week.